Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to my youtube channel math expert students if you are new here please do subscribe my youtube channel click the bell icon and if you have any question you can ask by email in the comment section we will solve and send to you students the statement of the question is we are given a complex number 1 plus iota raised to power 10 and we are given many options here so we will choose the correct option so the uh, we are given 1 plus iota raised to power 10 it's mean that we have z raised to power 10 okay and here we have z is equal to 1 plus iota you know that uh, we can write any complex number we can write any of the complex number this is iota Z is equal to a complex number, and we can write this R e raised to power iota and theta. Okay, and uh, it can also be written as R into cos of theta plus iota sine of theta. Okay, this is from Euler's identity. Okay, now uh, R is equal to the modulus. You know that modulus of the complex number, modulus of complex number, numbers, and we can define this R is equal to square root of x ka square plus y ka square. It's mean that. Here we have x is equal to one and y is also equal to one. So one ka square plus one ka square, which is equal to square root of two. It means that our r is modulus is equal to square root of two, and we have tan of theta is equal to y by x, which is equal to y is one and x is also one. So implies tan of theta is equal to One. So it's mean that tan of theta is one at pi by forty five, which is equal to pi by four, or we call this forty five degree because sine forty five and cos forty five has the same value at pi by four. Now uh, we use this formula. I write again here r e raised to power iota and theta. So here you can see that z is equal to r is equal to square root of two and e raised to power iota. So our theta is equal to pi by four. Okay, students. Now, uh, or we can write this theta is equal to ten inverse of y by x. So it's simple. You can check uh, this. Z is equal to z raised to power ten is equal to two raised to power one by two. e raised to power iota square root of pi by 4 and whole raised to power 10 so now we can simplify this statement which is equal to 2 raised to power 1 by 2 multiplied by 10 and e raised to power iota pi by 4 multiplied by 10 so we get 2 raised to power 5 and e raised to power iota 5 pi by 2 so we can write this 2 raised to power 5 is 32 and we can use euler identity cos of theta 5 pi by 4 pi by by 2 plus iota sin of 5 pi by 2 now you know that uh, i will write here for your convenience Pi of pi by two, we can write this uh, like pi by two, which is equal to pi by two plus two pi. So you can easily find cos of alpha plus beta, cos ninety is zero, cos of pi by two is zero, and sine of pi by two is equal to one, and similarly. Cos of two pi is equal to one, and uh, sine of two pi is equal to sine of two pi is equal to 
zero. So you can use the formula of cos alpha plus sine beta. So sorry, cos of alpha plus beta and sine of alpha plus beta. So simply find you get cos of five pi by two is zero. So you get zero plus iota sine pi by two five pi by two is equal to one. It's mean that our final solution is uh, sorry thirty two iota. 32 so our statement was basically we are given that we are 1 plus 1 plus iota raised to power 10 is equal to minus 32 iota. so we will choose our option so option d is the correct thank you for watching this video if you like my channel please do subscribe click the bell icon and if you have any question you are welcome. Thank you.